Hello, my name is Sarah Young, and welcome to a springtime journey through the Netherlands and northern Belgium aboard the river boat, the River Aria. Our journey begins in Amsterdam, considered one of the jewels of Europe. The 17th century historic canal district is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. There are over 165 canals in Amsterdam with a combined length of over 60 miles. In addition to being a showcase for architecture dating from the 17th century to the present, Amsterdam has the highest museum density in the world. After a 10-year renovation, the Rijksmuseum is just as much an artistic treasure as the thousands of treasures displayed within. It is one of 1,000 museums in the country. The works displayed in the museums range from those from the Dutch Golden Age to folk art to modern and contemporary works of art. Dutch windmills are used to pump away water and have been used for hundreds of years. There are over 1,000 mills still in working condition. Wooden shoes or clogs have been popular in the Netherlands for about 700 years. They were used as industrial footwear worn by farmers, fishermen, factory workers, artisans, and others to keep their feet dry and to keep their feet protected from injury. When getting married, it was the custom for a bridegroom to carve clogs by hand for his bride. The Dutch have been making cheese since the year 400. They are the largest exporter of cheese in the world. Many rural areas traditional Dutch treats are continued to be made by hand. During the Netherlands Golden Age, this town was an important home base for the Dutch East India Company. Exotic spices were sold for vast profits. A tax base was determined by the frontage of buildings. Consequently, buildings were narrow often too narrow to move furniture or provide stairways, so the buildings are tipped forward so that furniture could be lifted by pulley into the home. These coastal towns also became centers for the herring fishing industry. Kuchenhof is the world's second largest flower garden, second only to the Dubai Miracle Garden. Tulip is the distinctive icon of the Netherlands. Within the garden there are more than 7 million bulbs planted each year.
said to be the most beautiful spring garden in the world. There are over 80 acres full of color and fragrance. Seventy-five percent of the world's flower bulb production comes from the Netherlands. And so how is it that we get those beautiful bouquets of flowers? And much of it happens here. Located near the Amsterdam International Airport is the Alsmeer Flower Auction. It is the largest trading center for plants and flowers in the world. The auction building has the largest building footprint in the world, covering 243 acres. Flowers from all over the world are bought, sold, and shipped on a daily basis. There are more than 2,400 miles of navigable canals, rivers, and lakes in the Netherlands. Local farms continue to produce cheeses that were historically traded near the town of Gouda. Gouda cheese is best described as a style of cheese making as its taste depends almost completely on the time it has aged. The town of Gouda with its 13th century architecture also has the largest market square in the Netherlands. It was also the birthplace of the Dutch scholar, humanist, theologian, and philosopher Erasmus. The UNESCO site Kinderdijk has 19 windmills designed to drain water from polders which are reclaimed land below the sea level. Rotterdam, often called the Gateway to Europe, is the fourth largest port in the world. The heart of the city was almost completely destroyed in World War II and has now been rebuilt boasting many modern urban architecture projects. The town of Delft is the birthplace of the 17th century painter Vermeer. It is also famous for the blue and white Delft porcelain, originating during the Golden Age or the 17th century, with patterns based on Chinese porcelain designs. The Candelaire is one of three licensed Delft-based firms. Their designs are original, the motifs hand-painted, and each has a hallmark as well as the initials of the artist. The town of Veer was once a powerful trading center and it is now a small resort town but the perfect place to celebrate the national holiday King's Day. And then on to Belgium, to Flanders, to visit many of Belgium's oldest cities, whose rich history is demonstrated in the medieval and Renaissance buildings.
Bruges is one of the best preserved old world cities in Europe. Its historic city center is a UNESCO site. Like Amsterdam, it is often referred to as the Venice of the North. Although struggling against Chinese competition, handmade, delicate, and beautiful lace continues to be produced in Belgium. These historic cities, both in Belgium and the Netherlands, are often on a small scale which offers an intimacy of streets, canals, and squares, creating a unique and pleasing atmosphere. Sacrifices are remembered and honored. Music and artistic developments are treasured. There seems to be an ongoing celebratory atmosphere in both the Netherlands and in this part of Belgium, whether it's sampling the local dish from Holland, herring, or sampling the local beers from the Netherlands and Belgium, each served with its own unique glass. This has been a trip through time, an honoring of history, and an immersion into the beauty of nature. <music>